Leah and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited to talk to you guys about the latest Harry Potter game that has just dropped for Android and iOS a day early. It was actually supposed to drop today, but it dropped yesterday, so I got a little bit of time to play with it before I talk about it. And that is called Wizards Unite. I know that some of us Harry Potter fans have been waiting for this ever since Pokemon Go was released, so today I'm going to share my thoughts on Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down to my channel below, and yeah, let's dig in. I am a huge fan of Pokemon Go. I played it for quite some time when it was first released. Um, you know how huge the Pokemon Go craze was. Then they started adding some things and doing updates, but I got very busy and I wasn't able to play and then I slowly just stopped playing just because it was totally consuming my entire life. But besides that point, I am a huge fan of Pokemon Go. I absolutely love it. I love the concepts. I mean, I always wanted to be a Pokemon trainer, so it was absolutely perfect for me. So I always had loved the idea that they were throwing around ever since Pokemon Go was a huge success to do a sort of Harry Potter-like version. You can't just, it's not like with Pokemon Go where literally the whole premise is to catch Pokemon because that's what you do. They couldn't really do that with Harry Potter because in Harry Potter you don't just go around catching magical creatures unless you're Newt. So they had to kind of come up with an entire reason as to why you're doing this augmented reality, let's catch these things or do these specific things, which they did. Um, so let's just start talking about it. I've been playing it. I'm on level six. I've been playing for, I would say, I mean, I played most of the day yesterday and a little bit this morning. The basic layout is pretty much the same as Pokemon Go. You do get to set up your character. What is cool is you get to create a profile that is actually adjustable. So unlike when you choose Team Valor, which if you didn't, like, hello, um, <laughs> then you were stuck with it and you couldn't change it or you couldn't, like, jump ship and not that you would want to. But this is changeable. For example, even you get to choose your house and you can change it at a later date and time. I am a Gryffindor, as always, in case anybody was wondering, Gryffindor Pride. You are able to adjust that if at a later date you decide, you know what, I really want to be a Hufflepuff. You get to choose your wand, and it's actually very in-depth. It took me about 20 minutes to customize my wand, which I thought it would just be like, oh, here's a wand. You get to choose a bunch of other little things. You get to choose your job. I believe when you get to level five or six, you get to choose what job position you are. I am an Auror. They actually don't really have that many. You get to either choose an Auror, you get to be a professor, or you get to be like a magical creature, zoologist type thing. I forget what they call it. But these things will actually apparently help you in the game as you learn more specific skill sets. So that is something that they have added to make it a little bit more of a game and not just a augmented reality. You're just catching Cornish pixies all day. So they came up with this whole premise where you're helping the Ministry of Magic for some reason. I don't know. There was a lot of dialogue and sometimes I was trying to read it and then I would click the screen and then it would just disappear and I was like well I didn't finish reading that so that's great and there you can't really go back and like find it I don't know there's a lot of dialogue happening a lot of times during the game even at level six they're still trying to talk to me and tell me all this stuff and not even just stuff that's to the game just like stuff that you should know like beginner stuff and I'm like bro you should tell me this already I don't want you to explain this to me again you're apparently trying to do these things you're trying to find these things called foundables which are scattered throughout the world just like Pokemon are um, you use magic spells much like you do pokeballs to try to catch or to try to battle or help out other magical creatures or people um, you know, that's where I could see it getting a little old after a while. It's not like with Pokemon where you walk around and you pass by a bunch of Pidgeys until you finally find a Ponyta, like, or until you finally find something cool that you really want to catch. This one, like, I might walk past 
a bunch of magical things and like have to save a Slytherin because his leg got locked in some lock thing and I have to use a lot Hamora to save a Slytherin. Like it's different stuff like that that's kind of interesting. They do have daily tasks and goals but however just like Pokeballs you can run out of like magic I guess I'll call it. You have these little lightning bolts that like with Pokeballs you only have a certain amount. You use them each time you use a spell so even if your spell doesn't work just like a pokeball even if you don't catch the pokemon you can keep using it to try to catch it or you could keep doing the spell over and over and you can run out of these little magic things which is very annoying just like with pokeballs um you can find them in restaurants and little rest stops just like pokey stops like i said this is almost verbatim pokemon go they just put a backstory and then they add it the fact that you get to choose a career and then you have to do all these things for the career which costs little scrolls that you find so basically cost pokeballs to find like to progress in your career which you don't actually do anything towards it you just like accumulate these things if you find them while you're out and then use it to upgrade your thing i don't know it doesn't really make any sense to me as to how that like pertains to the rest of it but whatever so apparently you can uh, link up with your friends in this game and that will help you during battles i think there's like quidditch matches and stuff i've been too lazy there's like one i think in like my backyard i've been too lazy to walk out there to see what it is you can go to different areas in the game and get different things it will harass you if you're driving and tell you make you say that you're a passenger or that you're not um, there's also little potions and spells that you can find laying around. And then if you find port keys, they kind of act like the eggs would in Pokemon Go. I actually have not hatched, hatched a port key yet, but you basically use these port keys and put a key in them. And then you have to walk a certain distance in order to open the port key and get a prize which I'm interested to see what it is. I hope it's just like magic spells because obviously you run out of those. But, you know, I really enjoy the novelty of it. I don't think the layout is as pretty as Pokemon Go. Like, the map that I'm on is just kind of, like, bland. I don't know if they'll update it at a certain point. Um, but I think that's a little bland. I do like that my little character flies when I'm driving. Be safe. Don't drive and play this game. Um, but I overall I think that I'm, I'm a little confused about it because I don't know that like your whole task is to do a specific thing for the ministry so I'm wondering if you finish that and then that's it there's just no more to the game like or there's no point in it you know and I guess you could say the same with Pokemon Go after you catch all the Pokemon there's no point in the game but you can still take over the gyms and stuff like that I don't know but they always add more Pokemon um so I don't know if that's the case with this game. I do think that it's pretty much verbatim Pokemon Go, except it's Harry Potter. They did add a few elements here and there to try to give it more weight and more sustainability other than just catching things and like freeing people. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are playing this already or considering playing it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.